All right, first YouTube video today. I'm just gonna go through uh, something I have to deal with here at the house. Uh, a little bit of shoveling, grabbing some firewood, and uh, just doing regular home things. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, so this is the back door. See it. Holy moly. And those are my windows, and that's just a huge sheet of, of ice, so let's dig her out. All right, so just trying to catch my breath, but here's my house. I have two windows and the back door that goes out to a little generator shed. And I guess we could call the backyard area. It doesn't really exist anymore. For now, it's winter. We got a pretty good winter so far. Let me show you. That roof. It sheds right there, so you can kind of see the tunnel 
Uh, that's where the two windows are and then the door so plan is to dig them out a little worried about the roof shedding as I'm cleaning it out but uh, especially that big chunk of ice up there you see that Woo! so yeah I guess we'll just try to stay away from that the back door is over there so So I was digging out that little bit of snow coming up. It's because my boots, they'll break through the ice and then I and then I go pretty far into the snow versus even if I just dig off that little crust of ice. Uh, I don't fall so deep into the snow, but hey. Alright, here's that. Here's the door. So now from the looks of it, um I might just start with digging out this area, dig out the door, and uh and then go from there. Maybe wait for that to melt a little bit more. Maybe that chunk of ice to come down. Uh, stuff can really hurt you. Especially that piece up there. I mean, that's probably a solid block of ice that comes down on me. And yeah, that's going to hurt. All right. It's been super windy today. Last night and today. Oh. Oh. Let me just set you down here. So what I'm doing here is I'm alternating between the big snow shovel and a, and a square metal shovel. The reason I'm doing that is because that plastic snow shovel can't break through this through the ice very well. Matter of fact, it just stalls. It gets hung up <clears throat> as soon as I hit ice. So that's when I pull out the, the, the square metal shovel. And I mean, sometimes you can just poke it, you know. Or I'll just start shoveling with that until I start feeling, uh, you know, nice and light snow again. Then I'll switch back to the snow shovel. So let me see if I can demonstrate that in a sec. All right, so big snow shovel. I think that's pretty icy there. So let me show you what happens. That wasn't too bad, but now that in contrast to a good metal shovel, you can, you know, hack away at it, cut off chunks. Also, when it's when it's heavy ice, you grab a big scoop of the of the ice with that big shovel. It's really heavy versus this thing. One, it'll chop through it, and two, 
you get a nice small bite that you can ma manage easily. So. So that's going to have hit maybe some more soft snow or uh, that's just the residual from chopping up a, or chopping away at it so bring back the, the big snow shovel. Leave down in the comments if uh, you have any tips or tricks that you want to share with us. And uh, I find something in there. It's interesting. Why not? I'll give it a shot. Maybe film it. Um, super interested. I haven't lived up here for that long, so I'm developing my skills, as I guess you could say. <laughs> So now that I got to this point, I'll probably move the camera a little bit, get a better view. But uh, you can see here, there's the door. Snow's about three, four feet above ground. So at this point, I'm not gonna shovel the whole thing out. A little trick is to just make stairs out of the, the snow. So what you wanna do is, you know, keep shoveling. So you get down to ground and then you grab that metal spade shovel, chip away at it, make some steps. <clears throat> and what I like to do is stomp on them with my boot, compact the snow down, and uh, it'll hold longer that way. So that's what we're gonna attempt to do, but I mean, check it out. Not even close. I still got a bunch of uh, snow to shovel.
All right, I'm about to get into that. What I was talking about earlier, with making little stairs with the snow that's there. Now you don't have to shovel the whole thing, especially here where I'm at the ground where my where my door is, and I need to make it up here. Like I said, three, four feet, and I can either dig three, four feet, kind of make like a ramp thing, or just dig out some stairs. Let's see. What I like to do, especially in this tight spot, like I was saying, I need a need a little shorty shovel. Is probably just make the first step about a foot and a half, two feet above the ground, just enough so I could step up, uh, and then get up to the rest of the level of the snow. I don't I don't plan on doing you know beautiful stairs or anything like that. It fascinating when I first learned about working with the snow in your surrounding area one of the neighbors I was chatting with he makes a ramp from the ground to the top of one of his uh, sheds and he rides the snow blower up there and blows the roof of the shed off and goes right back down that uh that that ramp he made freaking awesome so yeah I guess moral of the story work smarter not harder <laughs> Alright, so I know these aren't up to code or anything, but it's about maybe a foot and a half, two, another foot and a half or two. Oh, you see, so one thing that the snow might be soft, so like here, look at that. My foot sunk through that second step, so I got two options either I dig it out right there, which is probably what I'm gonna do, or you can try packing it down um, since it went through so deep there's I don't think it's a good idea to try to pack it down so I'm just gonna dig it out um, and then come back stomp on the snow pack it down make it hard so she said all right so those of you who aren't familiar with what happens when you step on fluffy snow you pack it down and it gets all compacted and it turns pretty hard so um, and it's a lot harder for uh, for it to sink through like I did over there because when it before it was fluffy and I sunk down now it's not so I can't sink down so here word of advice like right there when I step into it kind of kind of shape it so it's flat because there, there is a bulge, and if I, uh, if you step on that, and you're not stepping right, you're gonna eat it. All right, here we go. Here we are. So, you know, I did plan on filming that today, but I think I'm gonna wait for another day. Um, I'm really not sure what's gonna happen if I start digging all this out, especially that big old nugget up there. That's gonna knock me out. So, all right. Yeah, this is my home. 
live here in the woods. Been here for about a year now. Uh, it's been a great experience. I mean, this is definitely what I've always wanted to do is live in the woods. You know, it's been awesome. Uh, tons of work, that's for sure. I mean, especially with the snow. When the snow falls here, I mean, it's not like we get three feet every time it snows, but I do live in an area where there's obviously a lot of snowfall, and a lot of snowfall comes with a lot of work. Like I said earlier, that's where the generators are, right there where I was digging. And, uh, Inside my boot, had some snow. And uh, power goes out all the time and I need to access those generators regularly. All right, it's going to conclude this video. Um, comment, subscribe, uh, leave a comment down there if you have any tips or tricks on how to move snow around with shovels. Um, I'd love to hear it, why not? I'm a newbie to all this, so teach me something. All right, y'all.